All right, what's going on, guys? Today I'll be breaking down the MLB slate for Wednesday, April 19th. Oh, we've got an 11-game main slate on for this Wednesday. And if you guys want to know how my lineup did last night, be sure to follow me on Twitter at the DFS underscore GOAT. I will be posting on Twitter how my lineups do. And if you are interested in getting lineups, then you can contact me there as well. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started with today's breakdown. All right, so looking at pitcher today, I definitely think this is going to be a position where you're paying up. I do like Clayton Kershaw today, pitching at home against Colorado. Uh, the Rockies are not a good hitting team away from Coors Field, so you can definitely look at Kershaw today. Um, I don't like his price tag, though, at 13800 I think that is way too much, but he's actually been playing really well this year. On his three games out, he's put up 32 DraftKings points, had a down game, just 12 DraftKings points, uh, but that game was played in Coors Field, and then bounced back against Arizona and had 33. Uh, so Kershaw has looked really well this year, especially at home. He's averaging just about 33 DK points at home, and he's going to be pitching at home today. Uh, so he's definitely worth a look if you're going to pay up, especially for cash games. You know Kershaw is one of the safest pitchers to roster. Uh, but for tournaments, I don't really know if he has much upside. For tournaments, for him to be worth that price, you're going to need at least 35, close to 40 DK points. And he could definitely do that, but I don't think it's very likely. Uh, so I'm probably not going to be on Kershaw today. I think he's a little bit too expensive. And my phone, if I'm going to pay up that price tag for a pitcher, I'd much rather get the discount and go with Madison Bumgarner for 2000 cheaper. Uh, like, I, like I said yesterday with Max Scherzer and New Darvish, I really like just taking the discount and going with guys that have similar upside. Uh, so I really like Bumgarner today. You're getting a huge discount on him off of Kershaw. And he also does get a really good matchup going up against the Royals. Uh, they're not a good hitting team. They're not going to produce a bunch of runs. Uh, so I do like Mad Bum today. He's looked solid in his three games out. He's put up 28, 21, and 19 DraftKings points. Uh, so he is definitely worth a look. And he's put up 24... 24 strikeouts in those three games, so he's averaging just about eight strikeouts this year, which is very good. Uh, so I do like Mad Bum today, even at even at 11,700. I really like that discount that you're going to get on him off of Kershaw, so he's definitely worth paying up for as well. And then looking for SP2s, uh, possibly SP1s as well. I do like Dallas Keuchel today, pitching at home against the Angels. Uh, Keuchel has looked really well this year. In his three games out, he's put up 24, 20, and 28 DraftKings points. He's only had 15 strikeouts, though, in those three games, so he's only averaging about five strikeouts per game, which isn't great. Uh, but he does have a .86 ERA, so he's not he's not giving up very many runs. Uh, so I do like him today. The Angels aren't going to score a lot of runs. They're, they don't really strike out a lot, but they're not a very heavy offensive team. Uh, so I do like Dallas Keuchel today. If you're looking for an SP2 or possibly an SP1, he is definitely going to be someone that I target. Even at 9900 I think he's worth that price tag for this matchup. Uh, 200 uh, cheaper. I also really like Chris Archer today, pitching at home against Detroit. Uh, Chris Archer has also looked very solid this year. And his three games out, he's put up 21, 24, and 20 DK points. So he has been very consistent. And in those three games out, he's put up 18 strikeouts. So he's averaging about six strikeouts per game. Uh, so he's definitely going to be someone that I look at today. I really like him pitching at home in Tampa Bay. Uh, Tropicana Field is a great pitcher-friendly park. And given this matchup against the Tigers, the Tigers aren't going to score many runs. So I really like Archer today. He's one of the best strikeout pitchers. He is going to be someone that I look at for tournaments. I think he has great strikeout upside in this matchup. Could definitely get you double-digit strikeouts. So I really like Chris Archer today. Even at 9700 I think he is worth that price tag. And yeah, those are really all the pitchers I like today. I'm definitely going to be paying up here for at least one of these. Madison Bumgarner, Clayton Kershaw. I think one of those guys you're going to want to lock in. And then for SB2s today... I'm really going to have to make a decision between Keuchel or Archer. I think both of them are very solid plays at their price. Um, yeah, but those are pretty much all the pitchers I like today. Let's go ahead and move on to catcher. All right, so looking at catcher today, uh, there are some guys that I like paying up for today at catcher, uh, but there are also some guys at the cheaper end that you can target. Um, but looking at the guys that you can pay up for, I do like Wellington Castillo today going up against Amir Garrett. Uh, Wellington, Wellington Castillo hits very well against lefties, so I really like him today going up against the lefty and playing in the Great American Ballpark. That is a great hitter-friendly park. I'm not a big fan of Castillo's price tag at 3800 uh, That is a little expensive, uh, but with this matchup and the ballpark, he's going to be someone I target. He definitely has a chance to go deep against Amir Garrett. Uh, Amir Garrett is not a good pitcher, so I do like Castillo today if you're looking to pay up. I also do like Brian McCann as well going up against J.C. Ramirez. Uh, Brian McCann should be in the starting lineup today since the righty is going to be on the mound. And uh, they do put McCann in the lineup whenever a righty is on the mound. So he is definitely worth a look as well if you want to pay up. I really like him today at just 3500 uh, Given the matchup against J.C. Ramirez and the park in Houston, uh, Brian McCann is definitely going to be someone that I target. 
I think he has a great chance to go deep against Ramirez. Uh, J.C. Ramirez is not a good pitcher. So I really like Brian McCann today as well if you're looking to pay up for catcher. He would definitely be someone that I look at. And then looking for catcher value, uh, I really like Austin Romine today. I just 2,700 going up against Dylan Covey. Uh, Covey is a terrible pitcher. Roman, Roman has really had to step up with Gary Sanchez out of the lineup. Uh, he's been hitting the ball very well lately. In his last four games, he's put up 8, 17, 16, and 2 DraftKings points. And he's batting 333 on the year, so he has been hitting the ball well. And you can definitely target him today uh, playing at home in Yankee Stadium. That is a great hitter-friendly park. And going up against Dylan Covey, Covey is a terrible pitcher. So I really like Austin Romine today. If you're looking for catcher value, uh, he would be a guy I target at just 2700 yeah, those are some catchers I like today. Let's go ahead and move on to first base. All right, so looking at first base today, uh, there is one guy at first base that I really like paying up for today, and that is Joey Votto going up against Ubaldo Jimenez. I know Joey Votto is, is really expensive at 5K, uh, but this matchup against Jimenez is just too good to pass up on. And since Votto is going to be playing at home in Cincinnati, that ballpark is a great ballpark for hitters. Uh, so I do like Joey Votto today. He's one of my favorite hitters on this slate. Uh, he's been hitting the ball pretty well in his last four games. He's put up 2, 14, 11, and 8 DraftKings points. Uh, so you can definitely target him. Even at 5K, I think he's worth that price tag today. I think he has a great chance to take him in as deep. Uh, you all know Abado is a terrible pitcher. Uh, I really like a red stack today. I think the Reds are going to be able to put up some runs. Uh, so I really like Joey Votto today. If you're looking to pay up at first base, I like him even at 5K. I think he's worth that price tag. And then there are some value plays that I like at first base. Uh, I do like Greg Bird today. Going up against Dylan Covey, uh, Greg Bird is going to be getting the platoon advantage today. Going up against the righty and playing at home in Yankee Stadium. Uh, that, that is a great hitter's park for lefties. Uh, so I do like Greg Bird today. If you're looking for first base value, you can definitely target him at 3,500. Uh, he has been a little inconsistent lately. In his last four games, he's put up 2-2, two, 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 28, and 0 DraftKings points. Uh, he did have that really good game against St. Louis. Put up 28 DK points. Really flashes upside in that game. I definitely think this is one of those games as well today that he has really good upside against Dylan Covey. Uh, Covey gives up a ton of home runs. He's a terrible pitcher. Uh, I definitely like Greg Bird to go deep today. So if you're looking for first base value, uh, you can definitely target him at 3,500. Then also another first base value play I like is Trey Mancini uh, going up against Amir Garrett. Uh, Mancini should be in the starting lineup today since a lefty is going to be, be on the mound. And I really like him today at just 3,400 and playing uh, in Cincinnati. Like I've already said, that is a great hitter's part. Mancini has been absolutely mashing the ball this year. Uh, he's batting 364, and he's already had four home runs this year. And in his last four games, he's put up 5, 34, 5, and 35 DK points. Uh, so he's been really consistent. So I really like Trey Mancini today. If you're looking for first base value, I would definitely target him at just 3,400. Uh, with the way he's been playing, he just seems way too cheap with that price tag. And given the matchup against Amir Garrett, I really like Mancini for value at uh, first base. And yeah, those are some first basemen I like today. Uh, let's go move on to second base. All right, so looking at second base today, I definitely think this is going to be a position where I look to go for some value. Uh, but there is one guy that I can th that I think you could you could pay up for today, and that's Daniel Murphy uh, going up against Julio Tehran. I know Tehran is a solid pitcher, uh, but you're getting a huge discount on Murphy today at just 4100. That price tag is way too cheap for him. And Murphy crushes righties, and he's going to be going up against the righty today. So I really like him, especially since he's playing in El in Atlanta. That is a great hitter's park. And you all know Murph is one of the best hitters in the league. Uh, he's batting 396 this year, and he's already had two home runs, so he has flashed his power. So I do like Daniel Murphy today. If you want to pay up for second base, I would definitely target him. Uh, he just seems way too cheap at 4100 I could see him doing very well today against Tehran. Even though Tehran's a solid pitcher, uh, Daniel Murphy's just too good of a hitter. He does very well against righty, so I like him at just 4100 uh, But looking at guys for value, I uh, really like Scooter Jeanette today at just 3700 Going up against Ubaldo Jimenez. Uh, since Jimenez is a righty and Jeanette is a lefty, uh, Jeanette should be in the starting lineup today. Uh, so I really like him for value, especially since he's playing at home. Uh, that's a great hitter's park, like I've already said. And Jeanette has, has been absolutely mashing the ball this year with Cincinnati. Uh, he is batting 308 with three home runs. And in his last four games, he's put up 28, 3, 14, and 0 DK points. So he has been doing pretty well. Besides from that one game against Milwaukee, he, did, he was doing very well before that. So I do like Scooter Jeanette today, especially since he's going to be getting a matchup against Jimenez. Uh, Jimenez is a terrible pitcher. Like I already said with Joey Votto, I really like stacking the Reds today. I definitely think they're going to be able to put up some runs. So I do like Scooter Jeanette for a second base value. You can definitely target him at 3700 And then for 3600 I really like Starling Castro going against uh, Dylan Covey. Uh, I also really like stacking the Yankees today. Uh, Covey is a terrible pitcher. I definitely think the Yankees are going to be able to put up some runs. Uh, so you can definitely look towards Starling Castro at just 3600 
Uh, he's been hitting the ball really well this year. He's batting 365 with two home runs. And in his last four games, he's put up 19, 2, 6, and 17 DK points. Uh, so he has been producing. He has been pretty consistent. So I do like Starlin Castro today. And he's going to be playing at home. That's always a plus. Yankee Stadium is a great hitter's park. So if you're looking for a second base value, I would target him. He seems way too cheap at 3600 and yeah, those are some second basemen I like today. Let's go and move on to third base. All right, looking at third base today, I also think third base is going to be a position where I look to uh, go for some value. Uh, but there is one guy that you can definitely pay up for today, and that is Manny Machado. Uh, getting a matchup against Amir Garrett. Uh, I really like paying up for Machado today if you can afford the salary. Uh, he is a, getting a really good matchup against Amir Garrett, and he's, gonna, and he's going to be playing in Cincinnati, which is a great hitter's park. Uh, so I do like Manny Machado, even at 4700 uh, That price tag seems way too cheap for this matchup. Uh, Machado has actually been struggling, though, this year. In his last four games, he's only put up 2-0, but he's bounced back in his last two games against Toronto and had 7 and 16 DK points. He's only batting 175, on this, 175 for this year, which is pretty surprising. But this is definitely a bounce-back spot for Machado. I definitely think he can start to get it going today against Amir Garrett. I really like Machado to go deep, uh, so I do like paying up for third base, or I do like paying up for him at third base if you can. Uh, but looking at some guys that I like for value, uh, I really like Jake Lamb today uh, going up against Julio Chassin. Uh, Chassin is a terrible pitcher, and Lamb's going to be getting the platoon advantage against the righty. Uh, Jake Lamb does very well against righties, uh, so you can definitely target him today for third base value. I like his price tag at just 3900 That does seem way too cheap. And in his last four games, he's put up 20, 5, 6, and 16 DK, DK points. So he has been really consistent. He's batting 313 this year. He's already had three home runs. Uh, so I do like Jake Lamb today. If you're looking for third base value, uh, you can definitely target him at just 3900 And then one more value play I like at just 3400 is Chase Headley uh, getting a matchup against Dylan Covey. Uh, Headley has actually been mashing the ball this year. He's batting 395 and he's already had two home runs. And in his last four games, he's put up 15, 9, 14, and 9 DraftKings points. So he's been really consistent. Uh, I really like Chase Headley today for value at third base. He's one of my favorite value plays on this slate. Uh, not many people are going to roster him just because the name. No, nobody really rosters this guy, but he has been hitting the ball very well. And this matchup against Dylan Covey is one you don't want to pass up on. Like I already said earlier, I definitely think the Yankees are going to be able to score some runs today. So I do like Chase Headley. Uh, and he's also going to be batting from his left side today, which he does bat a lot better from. And uh, you all know Yankee Stadium is a great hitter's park for lefties. So I really like Chase Headley today for third base value. Uh, he's definitely going to be on my radar at just 3,400. Yeah, those are some third basemen I like today. Let's go ahead and move on to shortstop. All right, so looking at shortstop today, I also really like going cheap at shortstop today. I'm not really intrigued by much of these uh, high-priced guys. Uh, there are definitely some value plays that I do like today at shortstop, but there is one guy that you could pay up for today, and that is Francisco Lindor. I really like this matchup for him, and he is just way too cheap at 4600 uh, That price tag seems too cheap for the way he's been hitting the ball this year. In his last four games, he's put up 9, 13, 6, and 7 DK points. Uh, he's batting 346 this year. He's already got four home runs. So I do like paying up for Francisco Lindor today. I think the Indians are going to definitely be able to score some runs. So I do like paying up for Lindor. If you want to pay up for shortstop, you can target him at just 4600 uh, That price tag does seem too cheap. Uh, but looking at value, uh, there are some value plays at shortstop that I really like today. I really like his Drupal Cabrera going up against Vince Velasquez. Uh, Cabrera has actually done really well against Velasquez in his career. In nine at bats, not much of a sample size, but still in nine at bats against Velasquez, uh, Cabrera has had four hits, which is a 444 average. So he has seen him very well. And uh, Cabrera is also going to be batting from his left side today, which he does bat a lot better from. So I do like him for shortstop value. Uh, he is really cheap at just 3500. That's pretty cheap for him. He should definitely be close to a 4K player, so you are getting a pretty good discount on him. And he's been hitting the ball pretty well lately. In his last two games, he's put up 16 and seven DraftKings points, so he is on a little hot streak. So I do like his Drupal Cabrera. If you're looking for shortstop value, uh, you can definitely target him at just 3500 And also at that same price tag, I really like Zach Kozar today. Uh, going up against Ubaldo Jimenez, uh, like I've already been mentioning, I'm, I really like the Reds today. I think they're going to be a pretty popular stack. And Kozar has actually been mashing the ball this year. Uh, he's batting 432, which is insanely high, uh, but he's only had one home run. But I still like him today. Uh, this matchup against Jimenez is one you don't want to pass up on. And in uh, Zach Kozart's last four games, he's put up 9, 18, uh, 19, and then had a down game against Milwaukee, only had zero DK points. But aside from that game against Milwaukee, he was mashing the ball. So you can definitely look at him for shortstop value. I really like this matchup against Ubaldo and playing in Cincinnati. Great hitters park, like I've said. And I really like uh, Kozart's price tag as well, just 3500 That does seem a little bit too cheap. Uh, so if you're looking for shortstop value, uh, you can definitely look towards him. And yeah, there's some shortstops I like today. Let's go ahead and move on to outfield. All right, so looking at outfield today, 
Uh, there are a couple outfitters that I think you could pay up for. Uh, one outfitter I really like today at just 4900 is Bryce Harper going up against Julio Tehran. Uh, Harper just seems way too cheap at 4900 He should definitely be over 5 k And you might think this matchup against Tehran is not that great, uh, but looking at BVP, uh, Bryce Harper has actually done really well against Tehran. In 31 at-bats, Bryce has had 13 hits. Which is batted 419, and he's also in that in those 13 hits, he's had five home runs. So Bryce Harper has taken Tehran deep five times. So I definitely think he has another chance to go deep today, especially since they're going to be playing in Atlanta. That's a great hitter's park for lefties. So I really like Bryce Harper today. If you're looking to pay up for outfield, he would definitely be a guy I look for. His price tag at 4900 just seems way too cheap. He's actually hit Tehran very well in his career. So I really like Bryce Harper to it today. If you're going to pay up for an outfielder, he would be on my radar. I also really like Mookie Betts for 100 less. Uh, going up against Francisco Liriano. Uh, Mookie has been struggling this year, uh, but he did bounce back today. He did, as I'm recording this video, he just hit a home run. And he's starting to hit the ball well. Uh, in his last two games, he's put up 19 and 10 DK points. Uh, he's batting 325 this year, which is solid. And he just hit his first home run of the year tonight. I definitely think he can keep that streak going today. I think he has a great chance to take Liriano deep. Uh, Liriano has not looked that good this year. And I uh, really like Mookie Betts today. Uh, he's going to be playing in Toronto, which is a great hitter's park. And he's going to be going up against a lefty as well. So he's going to be getting the platoon advantage. So I really like paying up for Mookie Betts today at outfield. Uh, if you're looking for an outfielder to pay up for, I really like him even at 4800 I think that is too cheap. Uh, but there are some value plays I like at outfield. Uh, like I already said at second base, I like Scooter Jeanette today on um, DraftKings. You can play him at outfield as well. Um, there are a couple uh, cheaper guys that I do like. Uh, 3600 I really like Robbie Grossman today. Going up against Trevor Bauer. Uh, Bauer is not that good of a pitcher, and I really like Grossman today, batting from his left side, which he does bat a lot better from. Uh, and Robbie Grossman has actually been hitting the ball really well this year. He's batting 344, and in his last four games, he's put up 2, 16, 5, and 8 DraftKings points. So he has been really consistent. He's been producing. Uh, so I really like Robbie Grossman today. If you're looking for a cheap outfielder, uh, you can definitely target him today at just 3600 uh, If I'm looking for an outfielder to save on, he would be a guy I'd target with that cheap price tag. And then also at that same price, I really like David Peralta today, going up against Julio Chassin. Uh, Peralta is going to be uh, going up against the righty today, and he does hit righties very well. Uh, so you can target him today at just 3,600. Chassin is a terrible pitcher. I definitely think the Diamondbacks are going to be able to put up some runs today. So I do like David Peralta. Uh, he hasn't been hitting the ball that well this year. He's only batting 240, uh, but he has, he has had two home runs, which is solid. He has been showing off his power. And in his last game against the Dodgers, he did have 21 DraftKings points, so he is starting to heat up. So I do like David Peralta. I think he can keep his hot streak going today, get you close to double-digit DK points and return value on his cheap price tag. Uh, so I do like him if for, for outfield value. I would target him at just 3600 And yeah, those are some outfielders I like today. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my top five plays for tonight. All right, guys, so this is half of a lineup filled out with one of my favorite pitchers along with some of my favorite hitters. Uh, if you want to get the other half of the lineup before lock, then follow me on Twitter at the DFS underscore GOAT. I give out lineups on Twitter. And even if you don't want to buy lineups, I will be posting how my lineups do so you can see how, how my lineups are doing. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, please be sure to like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed. I do upload these videos every day, so I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. And if you never want to miss out on any videos, then click the bell icon next to my YouTube name, and that will send you a notification every time I upload. So if you never want to miss out on a video, you can do that. I would appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Good luck tonight, guys. Congratulations. Worked so hard, forgot how to vacation. They ain't never had the dedication. People hate and say we changing, look, we made it. Yeah, we made it. That was never friendly. Yeah, no, I'm jumping.